Hey everyone, uh, it's Joey again. As you know, we've I put out kind of a call to action to everyone. If you go back and listen to our last episode that was put out, you'll know what happened with Landon. And I think at this point, we're sort of just calling the search off. Um, we did that thing with the with our neighbors and some people from Reddit, where we all linked arms and walked slowly through a field um and there was one canine there but someone had said that Landon had had those removed so it was not his um I just really hope that we can all get over this I think at this point we will just be burying an empty an empty casket but we had already asked Insane Mike and Jason to be on the show who of course own the network and as they've said many times to us to our faces and I quote own our asses they decided to come on the show and we had them booked and they said well we're not gonna not do it and I said well you know it's not gonna be the same thing with what happened but I figured it was supposed to be Landon and I's 150th episode on the dot And we didn't fudge the numbers at all, but I wanted to bring them on and talk to them and just, it's going to be, God, I hate to say it, but I think on my terms, it's going to be, if, if Landon is dead, it's going to be the last episode of, of lunch break. So I guess I'll bring them out now, Jason, Mike, thank you guys for being on the show. And I'm sorry. It's under such duress with our best friend Landon being dead and gone. Well, we um, had to be here yeah. in your time of need, man. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wish it was under better circumstances, but... Uh, yeah. I wish it was, too. I wish it was, too. <laughs> if, if Landon was... <coughs> oh, my God. What? What? Jason, could you get, maybe use a what? Kleenex if you're going to keep coughing yeah, like it's, that? That's not me, man. <laughs> it's yeah. not you. Mike? Mike? It's, it's not me. <laughs> Joy. What? Joy. It's, it's me. It's... A, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I fought, I fought for days and for days oh and nights <laughs> to get back to you, my friend. Uh, my friend. Uh, my brother. Brother. You guys, this is so incredible, Landon. We thought you were dead. No, oh my god! Oh my god! They you're, you me. made it. You're alive. <laughs> you're alive. And, 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 Welcome back, yeah. Leonard. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And. <laughs> Crazy Jason, <laughs> whoever you guys are, I, uh, my head's all mixed up. I'm sorry. <coughs> it's okay. Breathe here. I've got a bowl of. I got a. I got a cup of dust you can drink. Okay, you thank must you. Must be so parched. <laughs> uh, much better. Ah, uh, Landon, Buddy, it's so good to see you, and it's was, so good to see insane uh, Mike and Jason. Well, you <laughs> too, buddy. Great to see that you're alive. I, oh, we've what been a relief. We've been worried sick. Yeah, I I thought I was gonna have to end the show today, but I can't wait <laughs> to do the show with you forever and we never and never and never and never and never. You never. know, when I was in that little <laughs> hole. <laughs> oh, sorry, that. W- <laughs> <laughs> There's another guest. A lot happened while I was gone. I just I, you know, I had a lot of time to think when I was in mm-hmm. that bunker. And I yeah. Tell us what happened. I can't get into all the details. Oh, yeah. Access granted. <laughs> tell you us. Ha- you heard what happened. <laughs> tell us about the bunker. Well, I just had a lot of time to think, and I was the main thing I was thinking of is, God, I just wish I could do lunch break forever. Yeah. I. That's why I'm glad that we have. Of course, well, I guess we should say now, hold on, let me just, and I haven't used this for such a long time, but I think right now I'll use the soundboard for the first time. <laughs> Lunch breaks, 150th episode, episode. is here. here. You didn't play the theme song? Huh? Jason, Mike, yeah, thank yeah. you for being here. This is our hundred and 
it's just crazy that you're here and Landon is back. I'm filled with glee. It's really I'm like around. those kids in glee. I'm walking down the street and like 525,000. I'm just, I'm just, I'm and, bouncing out of my seat. And I'm over here like saying, don't throw a slushy. Mm. Mm. So it's great to have you guys here. And, and I hope that you agree with Landon and I that he is back. He is alive. Do you agree with that point? I completely agree. We, we totally agree that he's alive. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's alive. <laughs> it's, well, can you tell that I've been gone for a while and we haven't been able to do the show? Yeah. It's it's bad, right? It's obvious. Um, did you guys talk about it on the show? Huh? I don't I don't listen to the show. We well, here's the here's what happened, and I don't want to get into all of it, but uh, there will be a special Dateline episode coming mm-hmm. out uh, before this one comes out. I think it's called Sixty Nine Minutes, and it is about how Landon did get kidnapped by the followers of the dastardly Noam Chomsky. So look for that soon. If, if you're listening to this, it's already out, but it's a big. It's going to fill in all the gaps for you guys. It's going to be like I think whatever. Basically, it's whatever David Letterman did to his teeth on this new ep- on this, these new episodes of my next guest needs no introduction. It's going to fill in the gaps. Uh, so I I just really hope that with Landon back, you guys agreed to that this show is basically mm, it is inevitable. It is always going to be here. It always has been and it always will be. It is the alpha and the omega it is the uh, Landon. What's a good can- candy bar? Uh, one th- one hundred grand, or is it one thousand grand? Oh, that's a little uh, redundant, isn't it? I isn't think there? it's one hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thousand grand. I don't think that's it. It it's a hundred grand. The candy bar is not long enough for that extra zero. Mm-hmm. Thank you. But there's also a candy bar called a zero. Now that that's, that's a really short candy bar. <laughs> and by the way, uh, that's Zagnuts. <laughs> Chico sticks. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Come on, give us your honest answer. We you know that you are us. owned by Big Chico Stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what do you yeah, think, Jason? Yeah, I, I think it's. I'm so. Yeah, it's really great. You've yeah, he never loves even the had Chico one. Stick. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't that that spinoff sitcom from Chico and the Man? <laughs> yeah, Chico stinks. So oh, we I have love Chico stinks. <laughs> we have, and look, it's not one of those situations where you're working at Amazon mm-hmm. or Starbucks, and the CEO is like, "Don't even look at me." <laughs> you know, it's not one of those situations where, like, you know. Uh, Sir, sir, could I use the potty to take a big hot piss in? And the boss is like, Access denied. Exactly. exactly. It's not like that. Thank in this God. situation, we are, wouldn't you say we're peers? Oh. With us? With, yeah. with me and Mike? Brosnan I mean, or Morgan? You guys, <laughs> you guys can say that, sure. Yeah. But would you guys, and you guys would say that as well. It's. It's like uh, we're looking in a mirror, and we're at the both at the both time, same time. We're both saying we are peers. Peers, we are peers. We, we are, are peers. peers. We are peers. Which is and also I think an- that's a load of bullocks. What are you doing over there? I was gonna do Piers Morgan, mm-hmm. but it was I was bad. gonna do Piers Brosnan. I think that's a load of bullocks. <laughs> I, I was gonna, gonna do Piers Brosnan if you know what I'm talking about. Still the most handsome Bond. Still the most okay, guys. Really quick, let's Sorry, rate I'm not the bonds. Get into this peer pressure. <laughs> let's let's rate the bonds by handsomeness. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, nice. For um, me, number one is Pierce. Yeah, be right. Yeah, it's my. What vote. do you guys think? <sighs> I think Dolph Lundgren's up there for me. No, no. I was gonna say Woody Allen. What is happening? <laughs> Didn't Woody Allen play Bond once? In what? Casino Royale. In Casino Royale. In the original oh Casino God. Royale, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the people. remake was not as good. Yeah, when that square headed guy did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then this guy cries so hard that his tears are Kool Aid. 
<laughs> I'm not buying it. He breaks it. I'm He's like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what the F beep? <laughs> guy, and, and another guy, uh, the square head guy comes out of the pool with pants so small. Oh, <laughs> they don't even he, make pants that small. I'm not it, buying it. Okay. Well, when he goes into the water, they're normal size. <laughs> That's the truly baffling part. Mm-hmm. He go Q is like, okay, Bond, you're going to put on these pants, and Our when towel. you get into the water, Our towel. they will shrink. Our towel. Our towel. Would you like to know what utility that has for you in the mission? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> Bye. Bye. These Bond movies are getting weirder and weirder. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, but we we can't talk about the Bond movies anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. We can sorry. if you want. Okay, okay. fine. I'll well, talk about only on. the Bond movies. You moved on. It's fine. Well, it's okay if you've moved on from that topic. We're just glad you haven't moved on from our little show that could. Yes. I mean, we're just. Um, as everyone has to say, because yes, she is queen. Yes, we love her. Yes, we do. We are like Kate Bush because we keep running up that hill. Mm-hmm. And and we, the other and the and don't forget to mention the other great cover songs, mm-hmm. the great cover versions of of the song that were also very popular. Yeah. No. And if you didn't know those, you're also a wag. And you didn't know <laughs> those before. You're such a wag. So and Wagyu beef, think about Arby's. That. Uh-huh. Arby's is doing it now. Mm-hmm. That's not real. That's not Wagyu. <laughs> can't be. I it wag my be. finger at you if you think that Arby's has the. <laughs> they're like we have the meats, and we're we're serious. We've got the Wagyu. And in my mind, mm-hmm. that's the tail Wagyuing the dog. If you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Mm-hmm. And oh, I'm sorry. By the way. My karma ran over your dogma. Ouch. So (laughs) I think what we wanted to say is thank you for 150 perfect episodes. We've never missed a week. And we do have, and that's not even counting the countless bonus episodes we've put out over the years. No. Uh, The show is supported by fine viewers like you. And and by the way, PBS, you know what that stands for? Pubis. Isn't that weird? (laughs) That is weird. I looked it up because I thought they were each a word, but it's just they took out. It's like when you take oh. out, you're a cool brand, yeah, so you, you just take, take out, out the, the vowels. take vowel. out the vowels. Yeah. yeah, so it's pubis. That changes things. Yeah, well, I just, Iowa pubis. I just want to say on behalf of the home office and the entire network that we're really happy you guys have made it to fifty episodes. No, uh, hundred uh, and hundred and fifty. Uh, yeah. You guys have done 150. Well, that's a. I think sometimes you got you got your own shows. You've got multiple projects going on over there on your end. We can't expect you to. We just are glad that you know that we've done 150. Mm-hmm. And Landon, if you could just go in and make sure that you add in Mike saying 100 in front of the 50. Here, here I'll oh, give yeah. you. I'll give you that little sound bite right here. 150. Now you yes. can slice that. And we got it clean too. We got it clean. I thought I was going to have to go dig through that 100 grand stuff, mm-hmm. but he gave it to us clean. This is a true professional here. And that's why we love to work as, you know, you're our boss, but kind of also as peers. Mm-hmm. Um, so look, you know how the show goes, right? So w- what do we do next? You know, <laughs> we did our opening banter. And of course, mm-hmm. as you guys know, What's the yep. next segment? Let's have them introduce it. Don't you think, Joey? Come on. Um, well, it's, this was it's about, about snack time, isn't this, it? Yeah, isn't this when you like you guys talk about... I mean, it is called the lunch break, so you talk about lunch. Crap. And I got to run to the other room to get my snack. The room that we're all sitting in together. Right. I'm just... <laughs> it was one of those things where Landon, in me mind, him was dead. So I was me hungry, no tummy. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Right. So I was like, how can I, how can I eat when my friend is made of dirt now? And uh, so Landon, what are you eating? Oh, um, well, look, <clears throat> as you can see, I do have the goldfish limited edition old bay 
seasoned crackers. Oh, yeah. These were a gift from my good friend, who is very much alive and is always going to be doing the show with me, Mr. Joey Labota. Oh, I'll be coming g- back with two snacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he gave these to me about a month ago, and I don't even, at this point, it's kind of a trauma response. I'm not going to be talking about what happened for the last month. I will be diving headfirst into a bag of goldfish, Old Bay seasoned crackers. Now, do you guys understand what I, what I mean when I say Old Bay? Because I don't. I think it's opposite of New Bay. It's mm-hmm. a seasoning that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> but I've heard it before, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. How, That's how, but how is it, though? What's it taste like? That was my exact reaction. Okay. Um, I, I've i seen it. I've never tasted it. It's a common seafood. Uh, uh, right, right. Hence the word bay. Right, yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. I got to say, it's kind of good. Oh, all right. Oh, that's it's very strong, the seasoning. This is not something I'm going to be sitting in front of the couch watching love is blind for hours uh just with my hand in one hand in the bag of old bay one hand on my bag if you know what i mean what, what, what do you <laughs> i'm mean? not going to be, what so what, i'm not what, going what to be doing that but it is a strong flavor and i do actually kind of like it but what is it what's the flavor oh old bay i knew that part what's it taste like <laughs> well it tastes like old bay which to me is helen Mirren. Oh. whoa <laughs> It tastes like that M. Night Shyamalan movie that came out recently. Come on, man. Where you go to that bay that makes you old. The movie should have been called Old Bay. Oh, it really should have. Sixth Sense? Is that the one? Yeah, at the end, he's... Well, at the end, M. Night Shyamalan actually reveals himself to be the star of the movie the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of one of his things. Yeah, on one of his... He's on one, usually. (laughs) <laughs> I love the guy, but can we get one without you? Just give me one where you don't stick yourself in there so much. You know? Mm-hmm. That uh, all being said. Was he in The Last Airbender? Uh, you know what? I fell asleep during that one. And I have never <laughs> revisited it. That's, That's probably the one. He That was probably the one that where was the, like, yeah. this is not going the way I planned. And he slowly backs <laughs> yeah. out of the room. <laughs> I, hey, I love the guy. So I'm not gonna. I'm not speaking ill of of, of the night. Hmm? Was he in uh, Glass? Uh, I, I think he was like an ambulance in, driver or something. Was he? I know he was in Probably. both. Uh, he was in both Unbreakable and in Split. He was in both of those. Mm-hmm. And so, if he was in Glass as yeah. a third character, is that is he a hat trick in that connected universe? Is he? A, Oh, triplets? yeah, I guess that kind of breaks the. That's going to Mike, that's going to break the Internet. <laughs> what you just said, we're going to have to go into the lunch break uh, forum. I don't know. We'll go into a disc. Yeah, we'll. we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Discord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Discord. We'll go into our discord where all our fans are always on there <laughs> waiting on bated breath for one of our little icons to pop up. And they're like, Landon's live. And everyone's like, Landon, Landon, on the last episode, did you do that voice? It sounds a little bit like it's like you're doing Lori. And you know what my, like, you know what my favorite chord is? Ah. Discord. <laughs> that's and that's the only one I know. That's the only chord you know, that one. You know what my favorite chord is? That and my Honda Uh. <laughs> you know what my favorite co- chord is? Nothing. What's your favorite uh, chord? Uh, <laughs> What's your favorite chord? Tom Cruise called me this morning and asked me to go up to space with him. So I said, of course. That's why me, James Cord, un, is going up to space <laughs> with <Jesus>. James Cruise. <laughs> Holy shit. James Cruise? <laughs> 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 Landon, what do you give those snap? I give crackers? them a point eight. Wow, snap, cracker, <laughs> and pop. 
<laughs> I love goldfish, number one. Yum. I like the seasoning. Yum. It's just too it's too strong. I can't give it I can't give it too much. I'm not gonna sit there and eat a whole handful, probably, but I do like them. And thank you for gifting these to me a uh, one month ago. Of course. And on that note, I will say I was gonna eat them too. They are good. I agree with your <laughs> score. But Landon, I finally found it. On this, the 150th episode. So we had what? What did we have? We had the Kit Kat fruity cereal Kit Kat that changed the game forever, correct? Right. Correct. I bought the post Fruity Pebbles bar that had a big hole in it, so I threw it away. Right. <laughs> found the birthday cake version. It was fine. I found the original Fruity Pebbles candy bar. <gasps> Not the birthday cake flavor, so they are different. I'm opening it now. Why would you think it. they weren't different? They're com- of course they're different. I your microphone's breaking up a little bit. So, <laughs> I take a single bite of this to see if this tops the Kit Kat uh ding ding. Mhm. That's good. And wow. <laughs> does it top does it top does it though? That's an interesting question. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think uh, I think it does. I'm leaning towards it does. I'm going to go bold and say it it can't possibly top mm. the kit. Whoa! Kit. Going out on a limb. Landon? Yeah. I thought when you returned to this room that Noam Chomsky had built an AI version of you using that weird web search thing. <laughs> Dolly? Yeah. Dolly <laughs> 2. Uh-huh. And that they had walked you back here and there and they said, do a Mona Lisa version of a woman with a big black wig on. <laughs> and <laughs> in you walk. And I go, that can't be Landon. Landon, it is now known that you are the real you. Thank this you. Gets a point nine. Ooh. Kat, you remain on top. So close, but so far. This was more of a power bottom, but <laughs> the Kit Kat stay on top. Back to you. Well, I just have to say that everybody's worried about stopping terrorism. Well, there's a really easy way stop participating in it. That's good. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. I think you just might solved, have solved it, right? You've just invented world peace. Congratulations. <laughs> invented world peace. Sorry, was I saying something? Oh no! Did you black out? Huh? What? Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> Mike and Jason, I've heard that you eat food. Okay, Landon's that eyes time. are like glitching. Do you have a food that you like to talk about? Oh God! I would like to talk about. You do, and no worries if not. I'm a big fan of those little wafers you get at church. Mm. That is supposed to be the body of the body of Christ, and you put it on your tongue, and mm. it just sticks to the roof of your mouth for the rest of the day. <laughs> so you're walking around with Christ on the roof of your mouth all day. Mm. And it makes you kind of thirsty, so you're ready to drink some blood of Christ. And who's the, you, who's the um who's the stupid dwarf from the Snow White? Uh D- Dopey. Larry Dippy. Okay, so it's Larry Dippy. Uh so he, of course, famously, and I was talking to Landon about this before he got kidnapped, but there's this famous scene where he they're all getting kisses and he's extra horny, so he goes back in the window to get one more kiss. That's kind of me with those wafers. Because it's so small, yeah. and you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, now it's like when you take a little sip of water, and you're like, I rather would have just had no water. Just <laughs> let me still be thirsty until I can get a big gulp. Yeah. So I get that one little taste, and I'm like, okay, I'm going back in for seconds. So I put on a little <laughs> fake mustache. I hop in the back of the line. I'm like, yes, I do the thing. But then at the same time, I'm drinking all that. <laughs> <wine>. <laughs> Uh, 
Then all of a sudden, I'm on island time in the middle of this church. (laughs) My milkshake. You know, you're just dancing around. The songs are going. And you're just like, ah, cha, cha. So that's my little church hack for all you Mrs. and Mrs. What's-its out there who who want to go to church. But you're like, it's boring. Uh, uh, uh. Bring a fake mustache. Put it on. And you, you get good, you get a little snack. Now I just mm. I want to know if if the body of Christ comes in mystique or not, or if there's That's like a, maybe honey barbecue, mm-hmm. or just a like a all season, which I oh. I think is just ketchup. Can you <laughs> can you buy body of Christ at the grocery store? Can you go to hy V and get a package of body of Christ? You I. Th- I think it has to be on one of those. Um, it's usually when it's just like a, a a grocery cart that's filled up with discontinued items or things that they're not sure. They're like, we don't know why we got this today. Wait, yeah. does, does Christ get stale? Yeah, mm. I th- I think that's the thing is he hasn't come up with new material for a while. So <laughs> some would say he's been stale for uh, m- millennia. No. Millennia. Not that long. Who wants to be a millennia? Well, what? The year the <laughs> earth is four hundred years old, is that right? So something, uh, something like that. Well he was yeah, he but, was around for thirty, thirty, you know, thirty three years or so. Hundred and fifty. Right? Yes. This is the thing, this is the thing I got like, it. Hundred and fifty yes. episodes. Got it. Yes, yes. And by the way, propaganda is to a democracy what the bludgeon is to a totalitarian state. So your eyes are glitching. I don't understand what that is. Your pupils keep turning into like <laughs> not fully back. What is what? That? I, what? I don't know. I say put some old bay seasoning on them wafers. That might wake you up. <laughs> Spice up Christ there a little bit. A lot of Spice people go Christ. to a lot of people love going to Red Lobster after, after church. If they would just collab, uh. you could get a two for one. Or going to church and Red Lobster at the same time. Get some old bay seasoned crackers. And then everyone around you is just like, it's like popcorn at the movies. The movies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The freaking movies, movies. are back. Yes. The movies are back. If you thought you've seen a movie in theaters for the last two years, guess what? You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Because Mr. Because- Top himself. <laughs> Hi, I have a middle tooth. And I'm going to take you for a ride of your lifetime with my good friend, Miles Teller. <laughs> you know these guys don't get along. They don't get along because Tom is the alpha, but uh, what's his face? Teller is tellering mm. him. No, I'm <laughs> the alpha now because he yeah. got even more big and buff. He's like, do you want to be in my movie? Miles Teller shows up. He somehow grew even bigger legs. He becomes <laughs> seven feet tall. And he's like, I'm the alpha now. Yeah. He is goose. Have you guys seen a little movie called a top gun maverick no, no sadly no okay so so you haven't seen I'm a movie not, i'm not right? sad oh so i have no interest in seeing well you know what's interesting mike and we will get okay. to jason's food in a second but i also had no interest in top gun and i'm an unabashed lover of all things tom mm-hmm. Cruise. Okay, I'm putting that in your um, report. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, j- just, just the good movies that we all agree are good. Uh-huh. Not just not the Scientology the part. <laughs> <laughs> now, I could go on my rant about how I think maybe his utter belief in something so stupid is actually uh, kind of endearing, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not can I say? Can I say one thing? It, mm. it seems to be working for. I mean, the more I mean, you think about it, it might be the way to go. Right? How Would many I, things has Elizabeth Moss been in? Yeah, she's great. And, How many and, things has Mr. Timmy Cruz been in? What about John Travolta? There's something there. And if I, you just join me in giving them $75,000 a month, I think you and I could be in a movie. All I'm saying is I show up to Hollywood, Hollywood, word. With, uh, I'm sorry, Holly Weird. With Thank just you. a one of those little sticks with a mm. handkerchief on the back that's tied up into a little bag, and I have uh, yes. a little roll of Ritz and maybe a graham cracker. Is that what's <laughs> in those? I've always wondered what was in those little 
Hankerson. Yeah, usually uh, it's a roll of Ritz and one. Well, if you Hankerson. actually if you listen to the last episode we put out, I actually do go oh, into awesome. detail about what's in those. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have people to listen to. Your yeah, I have a people me. too, and that's how I let people know that they're not they're not wanted if they come to my door. Okay. Oh, that's what you use yours for? I just pee out of mine. <laughs> it's a peep hole, not a pee oh, hole. Oh, I thought you, I. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I and, use a pee hole. And what hole. do you you stand on a ladder to get to the peep hole? I mean, like. <laughs> oh, I don't have to. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, Miles Teller. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I had no interest in Top Gun. I I didn't watch the first one until about two weeks ago because I thought I got to see this movie. So I watched the first one. It's probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> see, you've gone your whole life without watching Top Gun. You watch uh-huh. it two weeks ago and then what happens? You get kidnapped. Well, That's fair true. enough, my good friend. Fair enough. And we are friends and we do have a peer like relationship. Mm-hmm. But no. I must say, What's that? But I must say, I watched, so then I went to the new one, knowing that it will be a better movie because everyone on earth is telling me that it is, so they have to be right. 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 And it is a great movie. That's what I hear. Everybody says it. the The real magic of this movie is it made me nostalgic for a movie I watched two weeks ago. (laughs) And that I didn't like. How does that happen? How does that work? What (laughs) movie magic is that? Is it? That I was sitting there being touched by stuff that they're talking about. Oh, 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 that's why he liked it. Well, I went to the special Pee Wee Herman movie theater. (laughs) (laughs) I went to the Fred Willard version. Yeah. (laughs) Hmm. How many, how many celebrities that have touched themselves in theaters can we reference right now? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Who else is there? Uh, Joey Labota. Um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so Top Gun Maverick. I do have one question. Is it true that Stephen Hawkins did the voice for Val Kilmer? Come on. <laughs> yeah. He uh, goes, that's just what I heard. He goes, "I am the Ice Man." Landon, do the voice. Do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Ice Man. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I, you know, I can't do it as good as uh, a friend of mine who has been on the show. Hey, Landon. So you were kidnapped, wouldn't? So you went and saw before coming back here and letting us all know that you were alive. You went to go see Top Gun. Oh, well. How it is? We have so much information, but know so little. You know. Hmm. His eyes are doing that thing again. I uh, I watched Top Gun for the first time the night before I went to a 10 a.m. screening oh of Top Gun Maverick. And I, I, w- I had the same thing where I said, so this is one of the iconic movies from the 80s. It's just a horny guy. <laughs> it's kind and of then, terrible, right? Yeah. Then guy gets smarshed in the middle of it and they say, well, it wasn't your fault. And he goes, OK. <laughs> and then there's like two two bad guys that come in at the end and he has to hit them. <laughs> so two bad guys fly in, he shoots them. And then that's the movie. That's it. He's horny friend dies, shoots two people. That's top gun for you. But Simpler then the time. new one, you show up and you go, I can't believe he's back. They're doing the song again. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing the same intro again. His kid looks exactly like the guy. They're doing the same song again, again. There's a whole scene that's the same again. I love it. And then you're sitting there on the edge of your seat. Oh God, he's going so fast. Yeah. It's great. That's that's what you want from a movie. And I'll say this the movies are back. Mm. And did you get the one where Tom individually t- talks to everyone in mm. the audience and says, Thank you for coming to my movie? Yeah, he shows up on screen, he goes, Joey. Uh huh. <laughs> Joey, sweet. Joey, Joey. Because of you, you're here right now. And I'm like, I guess that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, th- it was weird because two people sitting in front of me were mm-hmm. sitting close to each other and they both put their hands in the popcorn at the same time. So their hands touched. And he went, no, 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 <laughs> no. 
Everyone at this movie theater is watching you spread your COVID. And we're like, yes, he's doing the thing. <laughs> and he winks at you. And then he gets into a plane, which is the movie theater. And he flies the movie oh. theater. So I'm in G-Force now. My face is being turned into like a sort of a, a who's a celebrity that has a, a face that's got a lot of Botox. Oh God. Uh, Jocelyn Wil- Wilderstein. Jo- Yes, Joan Rivers. The cat and lady. And so I'm becoming the cat lady, Joan Rivers. <laughs> and before I know it, the credits are rolling. I walk outside. It's noon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's beautiful. It's like uh, cinematic. The movies are back. Jason, what food do you like? Yeah, I don't I don't have any snacks. I just God what, no, that's, like that? what do you rate nothing? This is something we've never rated before. That's true. Mm. Four? Yeah. Yeah. Think so? <laughs> yeah. 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 Because we have eaten food that is worse than just not. Just not eating. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I could have not eaten and that would have been a four. Mm. Yeah. But I'm stuck with this point. To this little uh, 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 licorice coin, say. Mm, salty licorice coin, and you salty guys remember licorice. that episode, the salty oh, licorice gosh. escapades. Remember that whole arc I was on. Mm-hmm. I was on a whole arc of eating licorice, and I didn't like it at first, and then I did like it. Remember that? That's a cool that the licorice arc is fun. There was two types of every kind of licorice on that thing. And they just <laughs> sailed it across the ocean. Blue. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys watch movies, though? Occasionally. Yeah, mm-hmm. once in a while. Yeah. What is the... This is this is interesting. This is one of those questions. You see the um, where celebrities come one by one, and they have all their... They do their little press junket, and everybody... All the little press junkers are trying to, to one-up each other with the fun questions like, okay, well, who is your Samantha? I have an interesting question for you guys. What's the last movie you watched? <laughs> oh. It doesn't, doesn't even have to be a good one. Just what's the last movie you watched? The last movie I watched was the 1986 Frank Oz little shop of horrors well that's the problem you haven't seen a movie since 1986 for you cinema has been gone for calculating 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 36 years it's pretty cool i only know that because the first top gun came out that year (laughs) yeah and every press junket is tom 36 dingers ago i know i know i know I know. I know And then he, I wasn't going to get back in the, in the, in the cockpit. And they said, do you know why it's called a cockpit? And I, and they whispered in my ear and my eyes went wide and I'm like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> so you saw a Frank Oz movie in 1986. Which one did you say? Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors. That's the one. Oh, 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 oh. Never seen it. Hmm. <laughs> How do you like that movie? I love Tell it. Tell us everything about it. It's fantastic and wonderful. And the casting's great. And the puppeting is great. And the songs are great. And it still holds up. It's really great. Do you like how scary Steve Martin is? <laughs> yeah. He's a, it's a fun version of Steve Martin for sure. I go, okay, I actually don't like this version of him. I'm actually now scared of him because he can become a dastardly, deadly dentist. A triple D, if you will. Right. (laughs) Landon likes double D. Ed! Butter toast. (laughs) The the, the other one. (sighs) So wait. What? He he is a uh, a dentist in that. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I think we said that. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Remember that movie Novocaine where he's a dentist? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like dentist. Is it the same cinematic universe? Is this? Is it? <laughs> I think it is. Is it? <laughs> I think it is. Mike keeps blowing up the internet. Doesn't he have a 
plant somewhere in the background no. of Novocaine. Okay, now Stop this it. is going to bust my freaking A wide open. Mm. My A, of course. My head. <laughs> right, right. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know how to spell head. Yeah. A, H. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that checks you got it. out. Yeah. 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 My apologies. Yeah, Landon, we should go watch Novocaine and do a review episode on it because... I remember watching it when I was a kid. We rented it because we were like, it's Steve Martin. That's going to be funny, right? And then it's Uh like a dark comedy where like, no one is nice and it was scary. (laughs) (laughs) And he kills someone with a tooth or something. I don't know. I'd I'd like to revisit it. I'd probably get a lot more out of it now than I did when I was four. (laughs) Yeah, that would be good. Scott Can is in it. Scott Can is an American actor, director, photographer, writer, and former rapper. So there's something to let you to uh, oh, get you in the mood. That's awesome. You knew that right off the top of your head like that. Yeah. Ask me about anyone. I could tell you about James Con. <laughs> what, what, about, what about James Con? Well, he's got four Golden Globes, an Emmy, and an Oscar. He was awarded a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in oh. 1978. So, yeah, it's just oh. Tracy Lord. There's some things you just know. What can you tell me about Tracy Lords? Oh, Tracy Lawrence? Lords. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, I was just... I was just so your weird, memory I was just, works about as fast as it takes to type on a phone. No, no, I got it right here. Oh, Lawrence okay. of Arabia is a 1962 British epic historical drama film. So these things come to me. I only know certain keywords. So you might have said something around Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to that, I would say, hey, man, I'm just being a little Peter O'Toole because this stuff is just stuff that's up in my head. And people think, Joey, that's so annoying. You just have all this information up there. And I say, tell me about it. I'm just a little Peter O'Toole. And they laugh and laugh and laugh. So wait, you you get triggered by certain keywords and repeat sort of programmed pre-programmed information and knowledge. Yeah. It's just one of those things that people just say, Joey, that with that, what you're doing right there, you coming off like a little Peter O'Toole. Hmm. Well, I would, to that, I just say states are not moral agents. People are, and can impose moral standards on powerful institutions. So just so a, <laughs> throwing that out there. Something to think about. So, uh, Mike snack, you idiot. Uh, I was out of the room. <laughs> you missed the whole Jesus wafer conversation. You were right here sitting next I was to gone all of us that. at this table. I was gone for that. Landon, I, Landon started telling some story about, I think it was dinger from like, <laughs> uh, like white weird. snake or something. White snake in the seven octaves. And I was just like, <laughs> I got to get out of here. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear about the horny little <laughs> whatever man these dwarves first of all landon you said that i call them little people you i would not use the d word dinger yeah oh you s- okay Crap. yeah exactly so just think about that too when you're hashtagging tonight mm. joey said the d word why did I get married to <laughs> Mike? <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you watch a movie recently and liked it too? Um, yes. By the way, when I meant snack, it's because I know that we all consume movies as if they are our lifeblood. Uh, so oh, like oh. snack. It's more like, Oh, good like, job. That was almost, it? uh, you know, you almost yeah. saved it there. Good job. Well, 150 episodes. You don't just, you don't oh, just, no. I don't know, walk through on the way. Please. You don't know what's going on or something. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, like episode 149? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yet, 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 yet. What have you so watched what? lately? Mike? Oh, Mike, snack? <laughs> yeah, what we've been snacking on. Um, I recently consumed the new Chippendale Rescue. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe movie of the year. Just saying. What? Really? Hello, Chip? Yeah. 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 You saw this too? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, oh, okay. movie of the year. Oh, okay. Jason, you saw it too? I did. You concur that it may be. Oh, it's brilliant. Movie of the year? It's amazing. Yeah, I got to check this one out. For real. <laughs> it's, you wouldn't think it, but yeah, it really is great. Well, you got it, the Lonely Island guys. You yep, got this, yeah. this fresh spin on a legacy IP. Yep. You got to imagine they're going to do something great with it. It looks funny. All right, I'll check it out. If my good friends mm-hmm. and, peers, const- right? and peers are telling me it's potentially movie of the year, I'm going to check yeah. it out. Oh, are you meeting us? Uh, I just wish we could be saved by the bell at this point. <laughs> That is a congratulations on 150 episodes. Everyone. <gasps> Lori. Lori. Hi, boys. It's me, Lori. I just wanted to stop by because I hasn't seen it so long. It's been a while. Yeah, Lori. It's been a while since I could. Holding my head up high. It's oh, been a Lord. while. You're full of songs today, Lori. To myself, and I say, it's been a while. Uh, Lori, yep. you're floating. Uh, hail stained. Lori, get down from get the ceiling. down from. I just want to stop by because I don't think I've ever met these fine, tall glasses of Bud Light before. Mr. Mike and Mr. Jason. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, of course, I'm you gonna. guys know this, but this is Lori. She used to be our neighbor and she moved away. She used to mow our lawn. I used to cut the us. grass. Yes. And that's not a euphemism. I know it seems like it, but it's not. She literally cut our grass. Yeah, I literally cut the grass. Stop waggling your eyebrows like that. You, you did. You mowed yeah, the lawn. You cut our. Yeah, I'm more your lawn. <laughs> Keep your tongue in your mouth. So, Mike and Jason, this is Lori. She's a fan favorite. Everyone loves her. What and do you want to know? Of course, you guys do too because you are our biggest fans. So, mm. what I, do you want to know from Lori? I'm sure it's kind of <laughs> shocking that you do get to meet her on this very special episode. You might not have thought of any questions, or if you did, it's kind of like the first time you meet Tom Cruise. Yes. Everything you were going to say just goes out the window mm-hmm. with the bathwater. Mm-hmm. I'm I, waiting on I guess bated for, breath. For me, I was, uh, I was more concerned that you guys got clearance for that uh, song that Lori sang. We have clearance, Clarence. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I got to. Roger, Roger. Lori, it's, lawyers real quick. It's though. Jason and Mike. You ever seen a grown man naked? Uh, you're, you're just quoting airplane now. Um, I speak jive. Yeah, that that that's that's from that's from airplane. <laughs> Lori, don't do that one. <laughs> We've got 150 episodes into this. Do not be the reason that we get canceled. <laughs> We're so close. We're, We're so, so close, close to being you halfway through our run of inf- infinite episodes. Mm, right. Well, that's what I mean. We're close to halfway. Yeah, 150 is not halfway. 150 is just like. The beginning, that's the place where John Candy stick stands next to the guys on the bobsled before they're about to go down the hill. Mm-hmm. We have not even reached the little part where it tips past the point of no return. Mm-hmm. Just the tip. All right, Lori. So Lori, is thanks. there anything else? Oh. Yes, happy congratulations. Thank congratulations you. Congratulations for this early lesson to you. Thank you, Lori. Wow, we appreciate beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yay. All right. Okay. Well, guys, I'm sure that that um, was not uh, in the manuscript for what you were thinking was going to happen today. You were like, I didn't think I was going to meet Lori. Hey, Lori, thanks for coming by. One of you do Tom, uh, or does one of you do Tom Hanks? <laughs> I want to do the Elvis uh, trailer with someone. The Elvis trailer? <laughs> I don't think I can go out there anymore. All these ladies are pulling at my shoes and calling me Mr. Wiggle Waggle. And now one of you guys has to go like, they just want to be helped. They just want to hear you sing Elvis. 
No one has seen what's happening to oh, Tom okay, Cruise okay, lately. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, 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 I, I think it's I, Tom I, Hanks. I, I think I got Holy a good. Shit. I think I got a good Tom Hanks. Okay. 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 Here we go. Okay. What What's the line I'm supposed to say again? Okay, you're supposed to say, uh, "Can't you see? All these ladies just want to help you with your wiggle waggle." Okay. <clears throat> you guys ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> this is exciting. <clears throat> Oh, I need a drink. Hold on. Do you need a, dr- a glass of dust? Okay. I'm good. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. There's an, a snake in my boot. Wiggle waggle. Nailed it. <gasps> Genius. <laughs> Genius. Oh. Oh, oh I love Genius. that. Okay. Now, wait. Let's put that into context. Uh-huh. Joey. Do yeah. the do the Elvis, okay. and then and then Mike <clears throat> hit him with the that one. <clears throat> okay, so Elvis is just walking off the stage. He's about clink, to he's going to finish clink, his clink, song. Okay, clink. no, no, I got it. Okay, oh, okay. I, I love the ball hound dog, turn it all the time. Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Big Man on campus, I don't think I can do that anymore because these ladies, I think they're just trying to help me wiggle waggle. Elvis. Life is like a box of chocolates. Wiggle waggle. <gasps> hey, I gotta use the toilet <laughs> for the next four months. <laughs> <Y'all hurt. laughs> and then cue a Cardi B song because it's uh-huh. Baz Lerman and he yep. loves to add a little fun. Mm. Fade out. Brilliant. We can't go on, baby. We're okay, suspicious. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Enough. We what do you... the, when the when the credits roll? Oh right. No. Okay. Keep going then. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's like That's when it. you get and to then, the part yeah. of the credits where they start showing the songs that are played, and you're like, "Thank <laughs> God, it's almost yeah. over." They start fading the lights up in the theater. (laughs) And some guy comes in, he goes, there's nothing after the credits. Come on. Yeah, but maybe. I do know how that has become part of the movie going experience is the usher coming in and telling you whether or not there's something at the end of the credits. You're like, but are they contracted to do that? Is that part of their job? They act like it's because they want to, they got, they need to clean. But when I went and saw Top Gun at 10 50 AM the other day, (laughs) I was sitting next to a can of Blue Moon beer. So someone never came in and cleaned that thing all night. Uh Uh-huh. Or there was an early showing and someone wanted to party. Yeah, I think it was you. Uh, Joey has a problem. He doesn't remember. It was sitting next to me. (laughs) It's like, dang, how'd the six pack get here? Oh, well, (laughs) guess I'll have to party. Ah! (laughs) <laughs> what do you rate the movies that you just talked about we have to get a rating on record chippendale 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 what's the what's the what's the scale though what where are we talking here <laughs> of course uh, uh yes because we always change the scale like you know uh it I is out of what what it it is out of 10 <laughs> Lem, is it Joey? Oh crap! I've yeah, been, I've been gone. Lemon, uh, crisp. Lemon crisp. Kit lemon Kat. crisp. Kit caps. <laughs> Out of ten lemon crisp Kit Kats. You heard uh, me, soldier. I, I, it, oh, okay. Tone <laughs> running wow. it down. Kits of caps. Why do you keep writing Come down? On. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll talk about what? it. What? We'll talk about it later. Okay, um, I would give it. What was it? Lemon crisp Kit, Kit Kats? caps. Yeah, out of ten, uh, ten of them. I would give it. The movie was so good. I'm gonna give it eight. Wow, Reese's peanut butter cups with chips inside. Uh, uh, wow, uh, he's making his own path. You're kind of like Lewis and Clark. <laughs> Have you had those? The Reese's peanut butter cups with potato chips inside? Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah get that crispy, little, crispy get cup. that little, little salty salt and the crunchy crunch. 
there's a little salt. There's a hey, there's some salt in my sweet. It's what I said as I swerved my car off the road because I was trying to look <laughs> into my big cup. <laughs> there's some salt in my sweet. Do you think it'd be as good if it was the body of Christ? Mm, those are low sodium. Hey, the, the way uh, they the way these candy companies are just doing flavors willy nilly. You're probably going to get that in a couple of years. They're doing flavors now. Christ crisp. They're doing all the flavors now. Yeah, I just heard there's a blueberry muffin Kit Kat coming out. Yeah, I saw Whoa. that. I've got one of those sitting in my kitchen. Oh, this shit. is not a joke. I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't know. And there was two of them. And now there's one. And it's like, uh, uh, uh. But I didn't I, so I don't really know what's going on out there. Right. I've been kind of confined to this room at this point. And it's like, that's, well, if I don't get to taste, then I'm not leaving the room. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe of course I can always try it on next week's episode because that's what I was gonna. I mean, we've got we've got the rest of our lives to mm. try all these flavors, don't we? Mm, we've got yeah as Sour many stones up. as there are in Marvel movies. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Theory infinity. kidneys yeah. to infinity and something. I guarantee that's a line in Lightyear, and they're like, "Don't <laughs> right. worry, kid, you'll figure it out." Hey, you guys going to the Andy Experience for Lightyear? course not because i think no. it's tonight oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm what do they do uh tattoo andy's name on your foot and kick yeah. you down a flight of stairs <laughs> oh my god <laughs> put you in a little tutu and rip your arm off well, that's the sit experience mm. that's that's what you pay extra for if you're yeah. like a little bdsm freak it's like one of those haunted houses where you have to sign the waiver before so they can spit in your eye and like <laughs> right. rub shit on your head <laughs> We're only simulating drowning you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, it kind of felt like I was drowning. <laughs> but that's also because I was held captive for the last month. And uh, so, <clears throat> as a research tool, the internet is invaluable. <clears throat> um, and, you Lions know, I don't want to are... talk. I don't want to talk about it, though. Huh. Uh, it's just sad that you had to go through that. And I was not there to try the snacks that they're giving with you because that's what our show is and always has been. It's a place for us to try a weird snack. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how it always has been and always will be. Yes. Yes. And in that vein, we have to ask, what do you rate little shop of horrors? Well, gosh, if uh, the, the chipmunk movie was eight, then I guess seven. Because I think I like that not quite as much what? as Chippendale, but wow, yeah, blasphemy, yeah. Joey, what do you give Topham? Um, I give Topham. That's gotta be. Gosh, it's hard to give it a perfect ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to, but yeah. but, but will he do it? Unfortunately, it is the reason that movies are bad. So <laughs> right. <laughs> I think, well, here's the problem, though. When the new Mission Impossible movie comes out, yeah, cinema is gonna... going to be reinvented. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with 9.5. Wow. Seymour's. Suddenly, Seymour is mm -hmm. standing beside me. Lori. Out. <laughs> <sighs> Landon. I was, I, oh, yeah. I was going 8.5. Yeah. I wasn't going to go that. I thought you said you liked it. Yeah, that's true. Ten. You forget that he flies <laughs> over that mountain upside down. He really did do it. That's the thing. That's the thing with this guy. He's doing oh. all this stuff for real. Is he? And none of it's fake. Absolutely none of it is fake. <laughs> none of it's fake except for his skin, his, his skin. hair, right. <laughs> his Sal Kilmer's voice. Oh, hey, It's as real as his marriage to Katie Holmes, right? Which is real enough for me. I I think about them every night before I go to bed. Yeah. I have a little picture of both of them that I've sewn on to uh -huh. a doll. And I think about, what are they talking about tonight? Maybe he's giving her a little kiss on the head. And he's saying, Katie's use feels like homes to me. <laughs> and she laughs because he does it every night. And she goes, Tom, I just cruise with you every night. <laughs> and then their kid, who is, I think... An the Apple iPhone, Apple iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> goes, Comes I didn't quite catch that. And then turns all the lights <laughs> off in their house and locks all the doors and starts a panic alarm. Yeah. 
It's a beautiful family. It's a beautiful I, family. Mm-hmm. Thank I, you. I wish I wish everyone could have just a piece of that love. Eight point five and nine point five, and then you've also got coming in behind. Right behind is Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and then leading or leading the back, I guess you would say. <laughs> So maybe mm-hmm. in the next couple of years it could pick up some slack, but mm-hmm. we got to get a little more action into that uh, into that movie about the big plant that eats people. Yeah, because maybe we could jack that up in in reviews, you know. But speaking of jacking things up, let's mm-hmm. raise the roof a little bit here because we are celebrating the 150th episode of our podcast that will forever be on the mm-hmm. airwaves, and we just want to end this episode by saying thank you to our. I, I honestly want to say family because mm-hmm. that's what you guys feel like mm-hmm. as our bosses you're not just bosses but you are a family and we do love you with all of our hearts Jason and Mike yeah. do you have anything else to say on this very special episode of Lunch Break well I want to thank you guys for having us on no, of course, uh, of course it's shocking to all of us that you got to 150 you know, yeah, the, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Definitely didn't see that coming. No, when no. we no. agreed no. to let to... you do this show. No. Um. So with that said, you guys are fired. So I got a review, for, uh, just some notes that I took. I want to share with you guys. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to shut the show down. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lunch break is over. Um. Uh, yeah, what, we we've it's talked. Over the episode's over. No, 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 we we have to cancel the show all together. What? The, this can, this concludes the the, the hundred the hundred and tenth show that we that we're doing right now is one no, no, fiftieth um, and one fiftieth. Oh, you you can add that soundbite later. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna be the last lunch break show ever. Sorry, but my not- friend Landon. Why? Why? What? What? Why? Because Landon just came back. We I know just he's came alive. Back. Well, first Landon, of all, say something that only a human would say. I do. The world is a very puzzling place. If you're not willing to be puzzled, you just become a replica of someone else's mind. I do have some. He's notes. fine. And I, <laughs> He's, you know, your evaluation here fun. on why we're canceling. Well, first of okay, all, okay, yeah, I'd really like to hear it. Um, Landon did not ask for that time off when he was uh, kidnapped. Yeah, um, that's yeah. kind of against policy, right there. Oh, come on! Um, it's because it's because the website was down. You guys go. You over, know I sent an email. You know I sent an email. You guys go over budget a lot, like that cup of dust at the beginning of the show. Couldn't afford that. Um, Joey, I told you not to spring for the mite dust, and I told you not to spring for the spring rolls. Some of the language on this episode oh, alone. Um, wag. Oh. You guys said wag like seven times. Well, make that nine. No, wag you. you twice. We said oh, wag you, wag you. Um, cockpit. Peter O'Toole. <sighs> oh, kept saying it. Yeah, multiple Peter O'Tools. Uh, oh, that's just God. unacceptable. Uh, Dinger, you caught me. You caught oh. me. I'm not a perfect man. <laughs> Dinger and cut the grass. Cut their grass. Yeah. It, it's not a euphemism. That wasn't even honest. She came in here. She, she came said in that. that. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. That's uh, that's what I got here in the notes. Oh, and then <laughs> and then giving Top Gun Maverick such high scores. Right. It's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> it brought cinema back, and you're gonna make us pay for it. You're gonna make us pay for movies being back. Um, we ended the show. Yeah, sorry guys, we're gonna have to strike the set. And that's no, gonna be who's it. gonna talk set. about the re-release of the Spider-Man movie? No. Who's gonna go see the more fun version? Who no. no is? Oh, we'll find somebody. Yeah. <laughs> no, it has to charge. be us. I think uh, you know. I, I think we can get a couple chimpanzees to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you, Not if you, and put, if, if you put a, enough chimpanzees in a room with enough typewriters, they will write Shakespeare. And I've never understood what that means. <laughs> I'll put that in my notes too. Doesn't understand no, Shakespeare. No, okay. no. So oh, yeah, your notes, please, yeah, we're gonna sir. have to uh, shut her down here pretty quick, guys. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have to tear down the sets, uh, take back all the equipment. Um, actually, why don't you guys tear down the sets? That would, that would be really helpful if you guys did that. Oh, you want us to do all your dirty work? 
You want to come in here like the nasty EPA man in the Ghostbusters movie, and you want to pull the lever. And I'm downstairs going, don't pull the lever, because if you do, you're going to let all our funny out. And you're like, I don't care. There's no funny in there. And we're like, that's, come on. And you're like, and tear down the set. And we're like, come on. Landon, tell him. Nobody is going to pour truth into your brain. It's something you have to find out for yourself. See? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't listening to any of that, but uh, this was been this has been great, guys. Uh, it's been awesome. It's a good run. <sighs> Landon, <sighs> Landon, what? What? I think just like Whoa. insane, Mike, Jason. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. That's concerning, Landon. <laughs> yeah, you may have missed something that they said earlier, but I think just like someone that is pregnant, we are going to have to come to terms with it. Jason and Mike have shut down Lunch Break, the podcast. No. This, the 150th episode, will forever be labeled the last Lunch Break. (laughs) Hashtag Lunch Break is over party. (laughs) Hashtag Lunch Break is over party. (laughs) Um, God, and Landon. Bye. Oh. Oh, uh, and and Jason and Mike, we're going to say bye to you. Landon, will you come over here in the corner with me for a second? Yeah. I have an idea. What? I'll tell you in a couple weeks. Okay. And for everyone listening at home, stay hooked. Stay tuned to this channel. All right, let's shut it down. Let's shut it down. Oh, God, no. 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 Bye. Wait, wait, wait. I got a sound. Hold on. Hold on. There's got to be something here. Okay. We'll do that in post. Bye. Bye. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening.